The next individual to sign in, uh, signed in under the name Strife, followed by Jonah Black. All right. Hello. Uh, my name is Strife. I'm a longtime community activist. I was involved in organizing the original busking parade. Um, also a uh, supporter of the occupation and an MC. I busk all the time downtown. I'm also a screen printer. And I'm here tonight uh, to voice my displeasure with how City Council has uh, treated the busking issue, uh, essentially handing off responsibility and therefore allowing plausible deniability to the Land and Environment Use Committee, who uh, essentially said no ordinance amendment was needed. And I have uh, the results of that right here to prove it. Um, essentially saying that in light of recent court cases, the only action needed is to clarify and educate businesses and buskers on the ordinance. And that's obviously not enough. And that's kind of too little too late in my opinion. Um, I think especially that's egregious after members of the city council uh, gave us spoken assurance that the law would be rescinded or revised uh, to a degree. And so, um, I believe that the small baby steps that have been taken on this issue are definitely not enough. Um, we need clear and decisive action by City Council, not the Land Environment Use Committee's uh, take on it, but City Council deciding once and for all that we need to rescind the law or revise it and add more zones. Um, I think the demands of the buskers, I mean, look at these, these beautiful people here, you know, and, and we make art and we, make, and we create culture and we essentially thread together uh, community downtown and you need us. I mean, we make it interesting, you know coming downtown. Uh, so um, what I want to say is we can't be ignored. We can't treat it as a pet issue any longer. And we need more input um, in the whole decision-making process. It needs to be more directly democratic because we're the ones most affected by this egregious unjust law and its selective enforcement and brutality and profiling that goes along with it. And uh, three expressions of human rights. So I'm going to read a poem that I wrote called An Ode to the Catalyst that I had 59 seconds for. OK, here it is. It's never too late. People still need connectors. Haven't encountered Lady Fate? You should expect her. It's never too late. We still need societal defectors. People crave community. We'll always need connectors. Writers, painters, musicians to give life form. Refract wisdom through a prism to help us portray the norm. Give meaning to the void. Fill our lives with form. We don't need a satellite to predict the coming storm. Still, they're looking at us like we're the children of the corn. Media blames the victim, but who kicked us out of our homes? Left us poor, broken, lonely. Cops and politicians don't care. They're mostly just phonies. We need theater, dances, songs, and ceremonies. We need joy in festivals that are loud and boisterous. We're poised to see who's the next to show. We haven't all been turned to vegetables, and together we're stronger than the system. When you create culture, consider yourself always enlisted, breathing life into ideas long thought to be non -existent. But we're persistent in our resistance to capital, sickness, and difference. We're strange, we're different, we're on the streets endlessly to reassert tribal needs and ancient memories, to fulfill the desire for one human family, uniting entire people behind a melody, not buying what the rich are selling me, downtown projects, fallacy, gentrification, fantasy, this underhandedly banning artistry? Hassling and harassing me? Or they just fanning the flames? The rich can't create beautiful arts and they just call in the jakes. But our words will make the earthquake and put food on our plates. We engage in actions that build community and reclaim public space. Yeah. Thank you. The last person uh, this evening before we move on will be Jonah Black. Uh, 